ventilator crowd, so it's been a while since I recorded. I don't remember what we were last on, but we kind of left myself on a fucking cliffhanger, because uh, it's either I ate bride mackerel for dinner or nothing. I'm just going to say I ate bride mackerel for dinner, because I do not recall the conversation. Huh? Ksaya? What? Brand mackerel? Just please wait a moment. Oh, is he supposed to kiss me? <laughs> That's fine, but I wouldn't be bothered by it, alright? I'm sorry, even though I'm the one who said this, it just bothers me. Even if I continue like this, I'm sure he'll realize that I'm acting strange. I have to calm down. For now, I'll just try not to look in at his eyes. If I don't see people, if I don't, sorry, if I don't see them up close, I'll be fine. Some people, oh right, his eyes are affecting us. I forgot. Some people can talk to him properly even when his eyes are working. I should have asked Rika to teach me the trick to it. Did you go look over here? You can't look. That can't be it, right? Are you embarrassed, perhaps? I'll leave it at that. You must be. That's right. I'm sorry, I got caught up in the moment and said something strange. I'm so embarrassed. I think I may have been half asleep. I see. Of course, if that's how you act half asleep, I'd always welcome it. In fact, it would have been nice if you stayed half asleep for a while longer. If you say something like that, then I couldn't possibly stay half asleep. I see, then what about sleeping together? If you're embarrassed, we can sleep with our backs to each other. Are you against it? Of course I'm not against it, but just... Uh, it's just sleeping together, alright? Yes, it's more than enough. I'd be happy if we could talk with each other while we're at it, too. Of course, what should we talk about? Mm, let's see. I'd like you to talk about what exactly you like about me. Iki, what I like about you? Um, uh, well, that's, um, your serious eyes when you're brewing coffee. Or the way you do things when you're able to solve tricky math puzzles so easily. Will talking about that sort of thing work? Oh. You surprised me. I didn't think you'd actually talk about it. And then? Please continue, I'd like to hear more. Yes, uh, but it's very embarrassing, so please don't look at my face. And because your eyeballs are working on me, so... Step off, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's working on her because she's not around Iki as much anymore. Strangers don't like game music. There we go. Ohayo. Good morning, Michiko. Uh-oh. It's working. Your eyeballs are working on me. Good morning. Hmm? Wait, why is he up so early? He's usually not the morning person I am. Mm, what's wrong? Still sleepy? Yes, I might not be fully awake yet. You're early today, too, Iki. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, my eyes just snapped open. Since I'm already awake, I'm going to head out early. But will you sleep a little longer? Where are you going? Work already, bro? No, I'm fine. I'll make breakfast. Wait, what about a good morning kiss? Good morning. My heart's thumping and it feels painful. But is this because of his eyes or the kiss? It's been since uh, it's been since long that my heart beats quicker than uh, quicker when I see Iki. But I thought that wasn't because of his eyes. But now I don't know which one it is. Even though I'm off, I came to work. Is anyone here? I need I need advice. 
わかお帰りなさいませお嬢さんお嬢さんお嬢さんお嬢さんお嬢にそのような丁寧なお言葉遣いは無用です Madam, such polite words are unnecessary towards Butler. What does she want to know? Tamino Shitsuji de Gozaimas. Tada, Koreo Seo to Goyo. He's so serious. I'm a butler here for your sake. Please, you need only tell me what you wish me to do. Mazua Osekini Goana Itashmas. Himits no Hanashiwa. Doka Ftaridake no Seki. Oh my god. I would think this man is flirting with me. <laughs> First of all, I get to your seat. Let us have our secret conversation at a seat just for the two of us. The manager completely changes his mannerism while serving customers. It's really amazing. All the customers are looking this way. I have to try and be like this while doing customer service. Oh, but when I said that before to Iki, he said, You don't have to, laughing while also being mad. So, what's the matter? Coming here to the cafe by yourself. It's rare for Iki to not be with you. Ah, it's the usual manager. Um, Iki apparently had to work on his day off. So I ended up with time on my hands, and I ended up coming to the cafe. Would it be alright if I had tea here? I have no reason to object. Take your time here. So, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the cafe. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking a little angry here? Now that I recall your acquaintances with the master and madam over there, aren't you? Oh, it's Rika and Kent. The very people I need to talk to, actually. If you'll be talking to them, be careful not to interrupt. Not interrupt. Disrupt the cafe's discipline as an employee, understood? Yes. What will you order? What will you order? Oh, I'd like the metal nut sushi blend, please. Iki no okiniiri da. That would be Iki's favorite. I'm sorry for being simple. Hmm, I wonder if it's alright for me to say hello to them. So the two of them were friends. I wonder what they're talking about. Goodness gracious, you obstinate fool, idiot, an incredible idiot. Huh? You're Mr. Iki's close friend, are you not? I'm having difficulty understanding why you're speaking of him in such an odd, cold manner, not odd manner. How oh, very troublesome. It's beyond my abilities to handle a hysterical woman. It's beyond my abilities to handle a hysterical woman. It's beyond my abilities to handle a hysterical woman. It's beyond my you of all people should understand best the relationship between EQ and myself. Whether we're good friends, bad friends, or teacher and student, that line is both vague and fluid. It's difficult to define. No, not really. It's pretty set and clear. Teacher, student, good friend, bad friend. It's pretty, pretty fluid to me, uh, Kent. Danga. Tatoe dore hodo stashi aite de atta to stemo. Kakan tekina kansatsa usina ubeki dewa nai. However, no matter how close of a friend he may be, one mustn't lose objective observation. Watas no ikin o tan ni tsumetai to kakka suru noa. Shukan tek sigiru no dayo rikaku. To dismiss, oh sorry guys, my face is like so itchy because my hair is all over it. <laughs> to dismiss my opinion as being too cold means that you're being too subjective, Rika. Your lecture is unneeded. More importantly, I have you. I'll have you take back your words just now. To call Iki Salama is interesting. Interesting of all things. You truly are just... A giant incredible idiot. Or adult, sorry. <laughs> um... Oh, my, you... You are... I apologize for the late greeting. I'm Ichiko. It's been some time. Has it? I just happened to come to the cafe and overheard your conversation as I was trying to say hello. I apologize for having listened in on you. 
But um, what do you mean that Ikis is in a dilemma right now? Masaka, timing you can at any voice to Simonate. To think I would run in run into you with such good timing. Anatani of Tao Kakes and Kaketsio to Motte or Mastanoni. Ume to you know, Adamo de Simone. Even when I was trying to resolve this without bur burdening you, there truly is such a thing as fate. Without burdening me, could it be something with fan club? Yeah. No, this is this matter is unrelated to the fan club. But... Yes, the fact that we've met here must be some sort of thing. Now that you've overheard us, I'm sure you must be curious, so I will tell you of it. Please do sit down. Okay. But the lemma of which I refer to is none other than about Mr. Iki's workplace. His workplace? So something did happen with his eyes. Yes, Mr. Iki's power is being exerted to an excessive degree, even at his new workplace. Of course, those who see Mr. Iki for the first time up close end up becoming enraptured by that power. Is this something which has repeated through middle high and university? However, this is the first time something like this has happened. For everyone to begin avoiding Mr. Iki like this. They're avoiding him. So doing the opposite? That's weird. <laughs> Normally the women who gather around Mr. Iki are those that are carried away in a state of passion. Well, it's find it difficult to keep their senses grounded in front of him. They do make a lot of noise, but <laughs> their words are simple. Once time passes, they will calm down. However, there are those who aren't like this. There are those who end up feeling strong emotions for Mr. Iki, despite them trying to keep their distance from him. For those like this, their attraction towards Mr. Iki ends up being too strong, and they seem unable to cause a stir. For those who keep their calm, what do you think would happen when they feel an unusual attraction to someone at first sight? I would think it's love at first sight. <laughs> they try to distance themselves from Inki. That's a strange reaction. I wouldn't react like that. Indeed, a great many people feel frightened and end up disappearing from in front of Mr. Inki. His new workplace is a dignified office with nothing but people on the reserve side. I thought they would simply keep a moderate distance from Mr. Iki and coexist with him quietly. But this is the same but currently, it's as if the discreet people who tried to distance themselves from him are being forcibly charmed by him. And then, those people end up distancing themselves from Mr. Iki as if to run away from them. At this rate, Mr. Iki will end up completely isolated. Oh, shit. I guess uh, avoiding him is true, because my girl doesn't even want to look at him in the eyes. I felt that his power has become even more powerful than before, and it frightens me. Wake up. Iki's power has gotten stronger. Enough that it works even on people it didn't work on much before. That's why me too. And even those at his workplace. Michiga, understand your painful feelings well. 
心が張り裂けそうな思いがいたしますわね。When I think of Mr. Iggy's feelings, I feel as if my heart will be torn apart. Yes. まあ待て、リカ君。まず疑問なのだが、君はその情報をどこから手に入れたのかな Now wait just a moment, Rika. Firstly, I have some questions. But exactly where did you acquire this information? Which is a good question, because Rika, you don't work at his workplace. But,、uh, but Rika, being like, you know, the leader of the fan club, I feel like she would know all the information. <laughs> but anyway, this is where we're going to stop for today's episode. It's very strange that Yuki's eyes are like becoming stronger and it's doing the opposite effect where it's just repelling everyone. So he's gonna have like a very lonely time at work. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.